Hello, dear Google Sheets geek. So you are looking for a job, but you're completely overwhelmed and don't know what to do because you've lost track of what you're applying for and where. Good news. I got you. I have a template for that too. You can find it in the medium blog. Just scroll down to how to use the job hunt, blah, blah, blah. There's a link. Click the link to make a copy of the template. You will then arrive at this screen. Copy document. Would you like to make a copy? Yes, you do. So you click the blue button and you will arrive here at a copy of the template, which is yours to use, not shared with anyone. And you can go crazy in here. There are two tabs, the tracker tab and the dashboard tab. You'll do the actual tracking here and the dashboard tab is already set up for you with very simple stats, namely the total number of jobs you applied for and how the job hunt is going. So yeah. When you track, uh, before you start tracking anything, you want to get rid of the dummy data, uh, which, yeah, you select everything from A2, not row one. You don't want to touch row one, the header. So select everything from A2 up to H, delete it. We're not going to touch column I because there is a formula in there, namely, uh, yeah, it calculates how many days you have left to apply based on the due date of the application of the vacancy. So you delete this, you don't touch the blue column. That's why it's a different color. And you select everything from J to N and again, delete it. For now, I'm going to revert it just to have something there to look at. Yeah, setup's pretty simple. You write out the company, contact person, job title, location. If remote, hybrid and on-site isn't sufficient for you or you want to put something completely different here, such as different cities, you click on a drop-down, then you click on this little edit button. And if you want, you can get rid of all these values or add a new one with, I don't know, if you want to work in New York or LA. You can change the colors of these buttons. It's all built in. You click done and then Google will prompt you to apply this change. So these two extra values or you just added to all the drop downs in column D. Yes, you want to do that. So we're going to click apply to all. Now you don't have to manually update anything because even if you scroll all the way down, these two will already be here and you can update these values at any time just by clicking the edit button. So no worries about that. You fill out the number of hours, your salary, yearly salary is meant here, a URL to the job vacancy by when you should apply or by, by when you want to apply. It's up to you when you applied and when you got a written confirmation per email from the company. And the latest point of contact, either by you or by the company. Then the status. All of them are listed here. Ghosted, wait for reply, currently interviewing, maybe later. You got a job, you got no answer at all. You rejected, rejected yourself or the company rejected you. That's, uh, I think that sums it up. Yeah. Because after each job hunt, I always wonder, okay, how many jobs did I actually apply for? And what was the outcome? What is the grand total of all this effort I did? And now with this template, you'll be able, let me get rid of this. You'll be able to see that right here. I hope this helps. Best of luck with your job hunt. If you want to make uh, edits to the spreadsheet and share them with other people, then you're, you're free to contribute to the Google Sheets Geeks publication on Medium, which is right here. Uh, yeah, if, if you want to, feel free. If not, good luck with the job hunt. Bye.